Oh my god, this game. Hello everyone and welcome back to another Harvest Moon review by me. And this time I'm going to review Friends of Mineral Town for the Game Boy Advance. This game came out on the Game Boy Advance and it is flawless. It is perfect. Now normally I don't say that way often that a game is very good or flawless or perfect. But this is near perfect. It's so near perfect that I would consider this to be one of the best Harvest Moon games there has ever been. In Friends of Mineral Town I feel like Harvest Moon really got everything right this time. I mean the item switching for one is perfection in this game. Earlier it has been some issues with swapping items back and forth and sometimes you had to enter the menus manually in order to change what item you are holding holding and like take for example the SNES version, the Super Nintendo Harvest Moon, you can only hold two items at a time and you have to run back and forth to the tool shed and swap out the tools. Now in this game you have a big tool sack and you carry them with you at all times and you can switch them out by simple button presses. If you play this on an emulator you will be confused because you swap items by holding down a button and pressing another. You know, it makes perfect sense on the Game Boy, uh, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy SP and the Game Boy Micro. Don't play this on an emulator, this is not an emulation game kind of game. This is a game you want to own yourself, truly. Now this game has a great map. The map just looks fantastic. There are a lot of items that you can collect for your house and it's so much fun to collect them all and fill your house because your house is really empty in the start of the game and as you progress and play you will be able to buy kitchen utensils and stuff just basically stuff and upgrade your house oh my god you can upgrade your house a lot but you have to cut down wood in the forests so that you get wood lumber I mean and give the lumber and some money to the carpenter so he can upgrade your home that is so cool now that is not something new to the Harvest Moon series but it was just fantastic in this one I have to say. The graphics, I think the graphics in this game are gorgeous. It's such a nice pixel work with the graphics and the houses and the people and the little image that comes up when you're talking with villagers. I love this kind of graphics. The farming elements in this game is perfect. This is what you want from a Harvest Moon game. Also, you can get some harvest sprites to help you out on the field and with the animals. So if you bribe these harvest sprites every day or so for a little while, they will help you out for a week with both watering the crops, harvesting the crops and helping out with the animals and by that it means feeding the animals and milking the cows and picking up the eggs from the chicken and chip them off for you. So you have slaves in this game but they love you so that is why they want to help you out. The animals are fun to take care of yourself, of course. You can call them by names, the names that you want them to be called. <laughs> I always call my animals some ridiculous things and inside joke things. And I like that. Now you have to brush them every day and increase their friendship level with you. And you milk them and the chicken lays eggs like I said and you sell off all of these things to get rich. And when you get rich you can upgrade your home and upgrade your tools and buy expensive shit so that you can give to your girl of choice. This game also has the best farm overview map I have ever seen. Uh, you have full control over what you have grown and where you have grown it and where all your animals are at on the farm. Now this game has also a lot of good lists where you can keep track of your friendship levels, your earnings, your equipment levels and upgrades and the number of items that you have shipped off. The bag is really small in the beginning of the game but you will upgrade the bag pretty soon. So it is annoying in the beginning of the game when the bag is really... you can hold what? Three items in the bag. But when you have upgraded your bag it will be just perfect. So 
you will get there, just hang in there and you will get the bag upgrades. Now I choose to make fences out of stone because the lumber fences they can be broken down if the weather is bad and like when time passes by in this game, I mean years can pass by in this game, uh, the wooden fences can break down on you but stone fences that is just a little tip from me. You can collect items out in the nature and ship them off for some quick earnings in the beginning of the game so that you get started and have a little money so that you can start buying cash and chickens. I also believe that this Harvest Moon game has the best villagers and the best bachelorettes. If you play more Friends of Mineral Town, which is the girl version, I don't have that, I have the boy version, uh, you can marry bachelors as well. The bachelorettes in this game, they are cute. Uh, Poppery and Anne and Ellie. I choose to go with Anne because uh, I think she is the prettiest girl and she is uh, a little tomboy and hardworking uh, little ginger girl, really pretty. Yeah, I like her. So I always marry Anne. Marianne. Lord. Yeah, I always marry her uh, when she is in a Harvest Moon game. She is uh, a recycled uh, bachelorette that you can find in a lot of Harvest Moon games, by the way. And so are many of the others. You can go mining for ores that you use to upgrade your tools. That is cool. You have a hot spring to replenish your stamina. If you run out of stamina during one day, you can jump in the hot spring and get a little stamina back so that you can continue your farm work. Oh, and another thing, this game has some fun typos and translation issues. I mean, at one point, a character talks in Japanese to you. And it's not supposed to be like that, but it's something that was uh, just slipping through the cracks when it was being translated, I guess. So cool when you find these typos, they are everywhere in this game. So, I, in every dialogue, I make sure I read everything and see if I can find some typos. And I often find them, and that is so cool when I find I, I like that. Uh, I'm not complaining about that, that is just a fun thing to look for um, within the dialogues. Now, it sounds like I'm praising this game up to the gods, but yeah, I am. Uh, the fishing in this game is perfect as well. So satisfying, I can fish forever. Now, I have been fishing in a lot of video games, and fishing is correctly done in this one. Uh, you don't have to stand there for a very long time until the fish bites finally bites. So. You can sell off your fish and you can make massive amounts of money if you go fishing a lot. Just saying. Like I said, the pixel work in the town and the town in general looks so fantastic. I love the graphics. Just living here, you will really start to care for the villagers um, as you live on in this town. I feel like this game really sucks you in. Uh, it feels like a little reality escape. With the villagers, you can increase their friendships and when you increase them far enough, you can unlock special cutscenes with the villagers and the girls. The cutscenes by themselves I think they are really well written. It's exciting when they finally happen. When you give the villagers items every day, sometimes suddenly you can trigger a cutscene and they are hilarious. Uh, some of them are just plain hilarious. Now if you didn't know, uh, the crops that you grow on your field, they are seasonal. So it's not a good idea to plant your spring crop, which is for example turnip, at the end of spring, like the 27th of spring they won't grow up until it's a new season. Now there are four seasons in this game. It's spring, summer, fall and winter. It's seasonal. So plan your planting with the crops to make the best profit. I play this game on the Game Boy Player sometimes. The Game Boy Player is attached under the GameCube. As a controller I use my Game Boy Advance SP attached. I also play this game a lot on my Game Boy Micro. It looks perfect and crispy clear on that little screen. Now some annoying things in this game. Of course it has some annoying things. You can easily have an accident by accidentally dropping crops that are good on the ground and they will disappear. Or if you bought some seeds and you're not standing correctly over the tilled soil when you are using the seed pack, they go away forever. So watch out for this when you're playing this. The towns feels lively and they have day schedules depending on weather and season. So if you're tracking down your girl, you should remember where does she like to be on a rainy day in fall for example. So they have day-to-day -day schedules with 
with stuff uh, to do. This game also has an in-game calendar to keep track of the festivals and you want to participate in the festivals. They are fun and rewarding. Now this game gets from me a 10 out of 10. It is perfect. I highly recommend you go pick up this game. That was all for today everyone. I hope you enjoyed this review with Harvest Moon Friends of Mineral Town. If you like Harvest Moon and want to see more Harvest Moon related videos, I hope you want to subscribe to my channel and have a look out for my next videos. And thanks for watching and I will see you later, okay? Bye!